Today we are talking about patch 5.24 and this could be a rant but I'm actually not even angry. I'm I think I'm mostly disappointed today and I, I will say that everything I will talk about here or most of it has been forwarded to Hyrus. So I think they're aware of a lot of it and some of it should kind of go without saying and yeah this is more a video for me to not even vent but just just express my experience with a new patch just you know please don't post this on reddit i, I don't want to have this like you know whenever i get something posted on reddit it's a negative thing or something i just i just think it's worth talking about from a perspective of a long-term player so Smite is, I think, a very enjoyable game. I think by design, with how the characters work, with how the maps work, how abilities work and all that kind of stuff, Smite is very good and is in a very good state right now as well. And I think that new characters like King Arthur bring a lot of innovation to Smite as well. So... I don't think that Smite in itself is bad right now, to make it quite simple. But you know, when a sentence starts like that, there is a but. And that but is, well, essentially my experience today. So I was really looking forward to the new patch. I really, really wanted to play King Arthur after the PTS experience had been a bit lackluster due to lags, due to abilities being like jittery and not really working properly yet. And yeah, that NA ping and everything. So I was just like, you know, I, I'm really looking forward to actually playing King Arthur on live servers and see how he performs. I had some other issues on the PTS already that I reported and that was something related to a blue screen crash which specifically stated that the reason for this blue screen crash was that um, there was an issue with easy anti-cheat. And obviously the only game I had open at the time was Smite, so if you put one and one together, easy anti-cheat is connected to Smite, is the software they use to verify things and it just somehow didn't function properly and blue screen crash my PC. I have to preface this with this because we get there. So I logged in today, all happy, all looking forward to actually having a, a more polished experience. I know, never play on patch day, but I wanted to try out anyways how things would go. I didn't have the highest expectation, because I know that historically a lot of smite patches feel a bit rough around the edges until there's a hotfix. But the first experience I had coming into the game was I went into a lobby, uh, as usual, the lobby chat was lagging, an issue that has been there for, I think, roughly three months at this point, at least it feels like it, maybe it's a little less. Uh, it's also known to Hyres and they've over and over tried to find a fix for it, but apparently it seems to be a more complex issue. Now, what I'm wondering about in this context, as somebody who doesn't know that much about the, you know, things behind the scenes is, how come this issue wasn't there before and now it's unfixable and can't be retraced? But, well, it is what it is. I was kind of assuming that what would happen is that we would just get roll calling on PC within a reasonable amount of time so that it would no longer be necessary, even though roll calling would be uh, quite terrible in itself. But from what I understand now, the roll queue will only be for ranked first and eventually maybe for casuals, unless that has been changed. Instead, at least for now, the issue with the lobby chats has been getting worse and worse. Sometimes the chat shows up super delayed or not at all, or you simply cannot type in it. And it's just another issue every single time. While even a year ago, this wasn't the slightest of problems. You would simply call your role in chat and it would pop up. And in earlier times with the different queue systems and stuff, it was even easier. I think it has something to do with all those queues and lobbies popping simultaneously, but what do you know? Then I got my roll on everything, and what happened? 
I tried to load into the game and the moment we left the lobby and went on the loading screen, my game just kicked me back to the main screen as if nothing happened. I still had the lobby chat in which obviously no one else was and I didn't get a deserter or anything, I was just there and could queue again. Don't know what that was about. So I queued again. Next thing that happens after the queue pops is the lobby chat is still mixed with the old one so I have like no understanding of who is calling which role right now because I don't know who is from the old lobby or from the new one and yeah, that was confusing and I couldn't even figure out what was available at that point so shoutouts to that team uh, for telling me in the first place. And so I ended up actually just picking support and I played King Arthur because I really wanted to try out how King Arthur is in support because I thought that was an interesting thing to talk about, you know, it's always also the perspective of what do I want to make content about and can I do that and yeah, I got into the game and less than a minute in, before the minions even spawned, I got a blue screen message with a critical error, uh, the PC would have to be restarted within the next minute, so I took the quick route and just restarted the PC so I wouldn't, uh, you know, die for that, but like I mentioned before, and this is why this is relevant, there was a blue screen issue on the PTS already and it was related to easy anti-cheat and I reported it then and yeah, now it's uh, apparently on life as well and I don't really think it's anything outside of Smite because I only ever had these blue screen crashes with Smite on that PTS and on the live client. I had it earlier last year and did multiple reinstalls and they were gone after that and yeah, what can I say? And it went on from there. Because in that same game, multiple people in my team were complaining about massive lags. Massive lag spikes that I also have recently experienced. Though I'm not entirely sure if this is uh, high risk related, there could be another issue that I'll get to. Either way, two other players on my team were still saying that they had issues too and we were all just lagging along. And the lag symptoms, so to speak, were also the same for everyone, just massive lag spikes all of a sudden where everyone is just walking forward and then everything basically gets reset to normal after a few seconds. So yeah, some sort of packet loss, I suppose. Good. First game done, frustration had set in. Then I joined up with some friends to play in a party. And the party happens to have a chat. And that chat was, for all of us, super delayed. Also an issue that we've had for ages that I could never really understand. Like, assuming it's just overloaded servers, overburdened servers or something. We went into the next game and right after calling our roles, somebody on our team disconnected from the lobby. And this seems to have been a common issue today as well. Then next game chat didn't show up, we tried to actually call our roles via the numpad, that for some reason didn't work either, and also who came up with a great idea to make numpad the button for roll calling? Like, I'm sorry, but most of us don't even use that and, and some of us don't even have that. Like, out of all the buttons you could have chosen is numpad 6 with an activated numpad, why? The match that followed went alright by any standards outside of issues that are not high risk related. But anyways, it was just this experience that makes you wonder why certain things don't get more attention, more polish in earlier stages. And why I'm talking about this now is because I'm concerned that these issues will be a lot bigger once we get crossplay and everything has to be unified for all the platforms. We really need more polish from Hyra's side when it comes to patch releases because right now it's becoming a meme and it's not a funny one anymore. There are other issues with this patch as well, like for example King Arthur's abilities and basics aren't supposed to lag anymore and my entire assessment of his viability was based on the fact that I thought those things would be fixed for Life Client, which Hyra's stated they would be. They are not, there are still abilities that don't even animate, there are still weird wonky movement attachments with a basic attack and whatnot. It's just very unsatisfying. And I'm also not the only one with these experiences. Rexy, for example, can't even get into Smite, he's constantly seeing, I saw him pop up in my uh, lobby screen basically over and over and he couldn't even get into the game. It's just, <sighs> it's just sad. 
And then obviously, based on that, you will also have other people that don't want to play. And if it's bigger names like Barracuda or Mythimu, that is not healthy for your game. That's not advertising your game at all. And I, I don't even think that the employees that are responsible for this kind of stuff are to blame here, by the way. I have the impression that Titan or Hyrus just needs more employees to take care of this aspect of the game, of this quality assurance, and Hyrus needs to promote that PTS a hell of a lot more. It's super hard to find on Steam, it's even harder to find outside of Steam, and lately it's not even been outside of Steam, and it also only has a US client now. How are you gonna find issues before life if you have no one playing PTS and the issues that get pointed out on PTS don't necessarily get fixed in time? Like, for example, we have jungle camp double spawns in, in jungle practice that just, just didn't get fixed. They just made it over to life just like that. Sure, not a big issue, but also something that probably shouldn't be overly terrible in terms of fixing. That's basically it outside of the fact that I want to specifically state that one thing is not tied to Hyrus being the lag and spikes that I've been experiencing lately. I'm pretty sure that's actually my ISP uh, having way too overloaded connections in this area, which leads to funny clips like this one, so at least it's something. But yeah, of course, that affects your mood while playing as well. I guess in a way, this is me saying I really care about Smite and I really think that the game is capable of so much and it's a game that can be very, very enjoyable as long as the circumstances are right and I really hope that Titan Hyrus put more focus on making sure that the circumstances are at least as much adjusted as possible on their end, from their side in terms of what they can do, especially when it comes to polish. And with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was exhausting and sad. No, just kidding. I hope you still found some value in this in one way or another. If you're new to the channel, if you feel this up, I'll make the bell. It really helps me out. And on that, see you for the next one tomorrow. Hopefully with stable enough game and internet to actually have sufficient footage for the things I want to talk about. Vuxloth, out.